one's going to be a little bit different because we're starting with upright bass and uh, then we're going to go into electric bass. So the track starts, I think the track is going to start with upright bass and then it's going to go into electric bass. onto the fifth channel. I like to put the bass uh, or any low frequency or uh, really like important tracks on the middle of the tape. Uh, you don't want to put it on like track two or one because then the bass won't be as bassy. It'll, uh, it'll kind of sound a little bit more like uh, thin. So you want to you want to put it on the inside, uh, the, uh, the middle of the track, not, not on the inside of the tape, like on the, on the middle. going through uh, the Octava 219 into this Phantom Power, Behringer Phantom Power Supply, and then it's going to channel 7 on the mixer. It's got a flat EQ, absolutely no, no uh, gains or cuts, and, it, and it's like halfway with no pad. two mics today. We're using Kick, which is this PG-52. That's the uh, sound of the kick, raw. There's no EQ. I uh, have it all the way down as well, the, the trim, uh, because uh, it's a, I guess it doesn't really need to be too loud or else it sounds clipped and distorted. So, uh, And then we'll play with the uh, snare drum right now. Snare drum Snare drum does have EQ. Here's it without EQ. A little too much bass, so I just rolled down uh, like around 80 hertz, and uh, and then I, I gave it a little bit of top too, just a little bit. So let's hear both of them together. Kick drum might be too loud, so I'll lower it. Even if I uh, if I wanted to throw up another mic, I could. Do you wanna do you wanna record that on tape and see how it sounds? Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll show you how you can record it and and monitor back on tape, so that you could hear exactly how how it's gonna sound on tape. So right now it's in in input mode, but if I switch that out down here, if I switch that and turn it into repro mode. Now it's going to delay the signal so we could hear it exactly on tape. So, all right, go ahead. Yeah, I think even I could bring the drums up a little bit more. I think even I could bring the drums up a little bit more. Yeah. So. Even more saturation.
Turn it off. So we'll only do it like 16 bars and then we'll do a whole note and then we'll go into electric bass. Here. Nick was worried that the drum sounded too much like a blanket uh, over it was over them so we're gonna run it to the ultra gain uh, Behringer again and uh, just put up the tube harmonics all the way up what do you think about this Let's just record the groove and then listen back to it. Yeah. That's it then. That's it for upright, and then the rest of the thing is E bass. Okay.
gonna try to use this chair as a rock stop. through the infamous small stone phaser. I'm not sure if I want a small a small phaser. Uh, the color knob? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how fast I want it.
Trumpet without me. Can I just take you up to that spot? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Really good. How's the one?